Right, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how you can properly erase and secure erase your ssd or hard drives whether they're mechanical or solid state drives now this is probably some of the best software that i've ever used to wipe your drive it's probably the most powerful eraser tool on the market for software based data erasing now this one is from white canyon software it's called wipe drive and it's probably one of the best bits of software for sanitizing uh, the computer's hard drive in there now all that hard drive contains all your data which you've been using over the years even if you format your computer it will still be on the drive whether it be ssd or a mechanical drive it can wipe any type of drive whether it be mac os linux windows any of that sort of operating system it can wipe the nvme it can wipe ssd it can wipe all of those and it can do it securely and very fast indeed and it also uh, takes care of deciding what is the best way to wipe and erase your drive for you it takes all the difficulty out of it and if you're getting rid of your computer or your laptop and you're selling it then wiping the drive is very important. So I've got the two files here. One is a Windows installer where you can do it from inside Windows, but we're gonna do it from uh, the actual USB flash drive. So I'm gonna create a bootable USB flash drive with the ISO, which I got, and uh, I'm gonna download this piece of software, which is called ISO to USB. Because we're using an ISO, I'm just gonna use this to create uh, our bootable USB flash drive. And then we can boot to that USB flash drive and then erase uh, the drive and I'll show you how to do it so let's go ahead and uh, download the file here once we've got it downloaded we can go ahead and install it it's very simple to install just go through the motions here and you can see we're going to install it and you can put a shortcut on your desktop and once we've got this done we can then open this program up launch the ISO to USB and we can then plug in our USB flash drive and then choose our ISO file. And I'm going to browse for that. So there we go. And now what I'm going to do is you can see the label is called wipe drive. You can call yours whatever you like. So what I'm going to do is use the drop down menu for the USB flash drive and select mine. Change the file system to NTFS and make sure the tick is in bootable only supports Windows bootable ISO images. Leave that ticked and let the volume name be whatever you like. I'm called mine wipe drive. So we can now go ahead and burn this. It will erase all the data on that USB flash drive and create our bootable USB flash drive. So what that's going to do is start to create our bootable USB disk. And then it's going to copy all the data over from that ISO file onto our USB flash drive and then make it bootable. So we then take that to the computer and boot to that USB flash drive and you can use the software to erase our uh, disk, whether it be a hard disk or solid state drive or NVMe drive, whatever it may be, you can wipe it with this piece of software. That's now completed, so let's take it over to the computer. Now this computer uh, has got a built-in SSD on the motherboard and there is no software that I've used so far that will actually erase it. So I'm hoping that this software will do the job for me. So let's go ahead and plug in our USB flash drive into the laptop. And what we're going to do is power up and it should automatically boot to that USB flash drive. If it doesn't, then you may need to change the boot order to boot to that actual drive. But you can see here it's already starting to load up. So it's called Wipe Drive Home 9. That is the version that I'm using here. So this is the home version and it's going to actually load up from that uh, USB flash drive now. Now this does take a bit of time, so be patient. But once we get there, we can then go ahead and I'll show you exactly what you want to do. Now, if you're using this type of laptop, which doesn't have um, an Ethernet port, then it will have Wi-Fi and you need to jump through a few more hoops to get it to work on offline mode. So put in your code here and uh, this is the code that they will send you. When you do that and click uh, cloud activation, it will then activate and I'll show you both ways. So we're going to do the Wi-Fi method first. So you need to punch in uh, the code that they will send you when you purchase it because this is not free software now once you click next you may get this red text popping up and that's because you haven't got a physical internet connection and if you're trying to connect through wi-fi this is what you're going to have to do you may have to jump through some oops to get this to work on offline mode you then need to go to a working computer 
and then use their activation service there and they will send you a code which you can then put in to the next screen I'll make it will make sense once I continue here so if you are using a laptop like this one with no Ethernet port then this is what you're going to have to do so I'm going to click continue here and now you should see the USB flash drive and you should also see the solid state drive or hard drive which is inside that uh, laptop or desktop depending on whatever you're using this is obviously a lap book as you can see here so I'm going to remove the tick from the uh, SanDisk here it's it's actually uh, mentioned that it's a Toshiba SSD and that is built onto the board itself there's not an actual physical SSD it's actually a surface mounted onto the motherboard itself so you can see here use secure erase it's automatically detected that and it's let me wipe the drives by using this method okay so I'm going to click on the next button here and it automatically gives you an overwrite pattern of what it thinks you should use it's intelligent enough to know that it's saying this is recommended for you which is the NIST and it's going to allow us to wipe that drive using this method so you can use their recommended setting here for what they want to do because obviously it knows best and I'm going to let it go ahead I'm going to leave the radio button in the NIST and you can see here there's also a single pass here and a DOD free passes but it's not recommending me that uh, actual overwrite so I'm going to leave it as it is here and click next now this is the part where it's going to say caution and say this is the last point of return if you continue from here it will obliterate all the data on that drive and all the operating system will be gone all the data that's been stored on that drive over the course of years will be erased uh, completely okay so if you don't want to continue now's the time to back out before it will erase all the data on the drive we're going to continue and uh, once we continue here we should get to the next screen which will ask us to type in erase my data this is the final step and then it will literally obliterate all the data on that drive so we're going to type this out here and you have to type it out exactly as it is otherwise it won't uh, continue here so just type erase space my data there we go and then click on confirm now because we haven't got no physical internet connection it's going to ask us to um, verify our number so at this stage you're going to need to go over to uh, another computer and go on the internet and type in those two numbers that you see previously on the laptop and it will tell you to put in your cloud account code and your client code these are obviously on the screen on the laptop that you're trying to wipe so just type those two out inside here and this will then give you uh, an actual key to then type in and it can verify that you are using a legitimate uh, piece of software from them you can see here you need to enter this code here now I've blurred some of it out so we're going to head back over to the laptop here and you can see that cloud code and the client code that's the code that you need to put onto the website on another computer to get this code so enter that code in and you should be good to go so let me show you the ethernet way now I've got an ethernet plugged in via a little uh, dongle here so I can show you the ethernet method as well so I'm going to type in my code again as if it was uh, starting from scratch I've cut out the first bit it's exactly the same but once you put your code in you'll see it will do the cloud activation and it will go straight through if you're on an ethernet connection so the best way to do this I would say is by ethernet connection you can see it's checking the account and it should see uh, what uh, license you've got and it will then go on to this select your drive so it cuts out a lot of that uh, kerfuffle when you're trying to um, get this uh, activated so let's just jump on here now and uh, take out the tick for, for the SanDisk USB drive and you can see here we've got the Toshiba and that's the one we want to do so it's exactly the same you secure a race and we're going to wipe the drive here when we go next here it's just going to go through here automatically select uh, the recommended setting here and then we can go on to the next one so let's go on to the next step so the next step should take us to the uh, warning screen there we go and uh, once we click continue here we'll have to put in that erase my data again and we can move on to that step right now so let's move on to the erase my data bit so we we'll continue here and all we need to do now is type in erase my data 
So let's go ahead and do that. And you'll see once we do this, because we've got an Ethernet connection, this will go straight through this time and we won't have to go onto another computer. And the only, the only reason they're doing this is because obviously you're offline mode, you haven't got an internet connection and you need to uh, verify that the you're using a paid version. So you can see it's now accessing the license on the dongle and it will then allow me to go ahead. There we go. And it will then start to erase using the method uh, that we chosen. Now you may be asking yourself, how long does this process take? Well, that will uh, depend on how large the drive is, how many overwrites you're doing to that drive and what sort of methods you're using and I suppose really how fast the computer is and how fast it can process it but to be honest with you uh, if you're looking at a large drive this is only a 64 gigabyte uh, SSD and uh, it will take a fair bit of time so depending on how large it is will determine how long it will take and what sort of method it is so just be patient and walk away basically and let it do its thing you can leave this overnight and let it just churn away just make sure you've got plenty of a uh, life in the battery or you run it on electricity that will probably be your best bet now you can see here we've got some stats up here we've got the time we've got the wipe method and we've got two passes you've also got some information you've got left some time to erase the drive as you can see here it's nearly completed the first pass now remember this is two passes after it's done this wipe it will verify and then it passes after it's done this wipe it will verify and then it will do a trim on the actual uh, erase so you'll see it here so once we get onto the wipe stage here and this is took up to say for instance I think 26 minutes and it's now doing a quick verify of the uh, drive we're still on phase one here or pass one so let this uh, go ahead and do a quick verify and once it's done the verify it will uh, start to use the trim command now you also may be asking yourself why would you need to uh, secure erase the data on your drive and there's a numerous different reasons why you might want to do it you may be giving your uh, laptop away to a charity it may be going to some sort of recycle center it may be, be sold on eBay or Craigslist or one of those places there. You may be giving it to a family member. And remember, this data can be recovered if you don't erase it. Now, you can see the trim command is now being uh, put in place. And we're now on the second phase. And it's now erasing all of this um, data on here. And once that's done, you should get a completion. And uh, you should have a completely sanitized uh, solid state drive or mechanical hard drive. So let this just go through its thing. You see it doing a, a trim now, and it will go through this and then go on to the second pass, which will be another wipe, and then it will do another trim, and then it will finish. I'll speed this part up here. You can see it's gone back into wipe mode, and I've sped that up to the end, and you can see this is what you're going to get. It will be completed. Now the drive has been completely sanitized. You can give the laptop away uh, to a friend or someone online and you don't have to have the fear of someone recovering all your sensitive information whether it be photos and stuff like that you, you've got no fear of that happening because it's been securely erased anyway that is the wipe drive from white canyon my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you're interested i'll leave the link in the video description i shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet Hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.